started a garden program back in 2007, they kind of knew what I was trying to do here. And I started with the younger kids, you know, the seventh graders that I had, I took them out there. But, you know, it, it was the younger kids that really I wanted to impress and try to teach them that bees are okay, uh, that, that they're important in our environment. Uh, that really helped me get into the lower school and the pre-primary school. So now we're talking kids, you know, in, in four-year-olds, five-year-olds uh, that, are, that are into this stuff. And it's interesting, they, they really get a kick out of seeing that many bees. And, and I, I put them around a table where I have pretty good control of them, and I'll have teachers there to help me. Well, you've got a mass of thousands of bees in a tight space. How do they communicate? What's the communication that they use? What their jobs are? I mean, you've got all those different roles that they play, and they, they seem to get along. But generally what I'll get is two or three or four kids that are really excited about this. And those are the kinds of kids I'd like to try to train going forward to see if they can't be a mentor for younger kids. What, what it does is it creates a, uh, I guess, a sort of a campus consciousness. That okay. We have a hive on campus. Yeah. And with that comes along responsibility. Mm -hmm. um, but I think once people understand that what we're doing with it is to teach kids more about the wonderful life cycle of bees and how important that they are to our environment. I think that's the biggest change that I've seen in our kids is they, they realize that it's not all about the honey, it's all about the bees. And we've got to protect those bees. Um, those, are, those are great lessons for kids to learn at a young age, that they have a responsibility to be on this planet too. Our goal is to try to get them to just interact with the bees and really learn something about them so that when they're not at school and they see a bee, they can appreciate that organism. I like the bee pod system because you can deal with it bar by bar, so all the workers aren't visibly distressed when you, when you do that. So I, I like the whole concept of that. It, it makes a lot more sense. It's easier to you know, inventory and evaluate. And you can really tell the health of the hive. Um, once it's on campus, it, it kind of has a life of its own. Um, you have to judge some of the goals that you want to do with it. Uh, with, with the lower school kids, I like the pre-primary or lower school kids because you can make you can design a whole unit right. on this, and they can actually see what's happening. They can write about it. They can talk about it. They can uh, take data on it, do science with it. Y you find when you teach kids this stuff, y there's a level of empathy that you have not only for the bees but for the people that you work with, right. and that's what creates your team. I will ask my kids, because kids, what do you want to learn about bees? What are, what's cool about bees that you think? Write me 10 questions right now that, that you don't know about bees that you want to know more about. Okay? It's the it's a classic, what I don't know, what I know, and what I want to know. Close on.